But then with me, the horrid doubt always arises whether the convictions of man's mind, which has been developed from the mind of the lower animals, are of any value or at all trustworthy. Would anyone trust in the convictions of a monkey's mind? If there are any convictions in such a mind? This is an excerpt from a letter written in 1881 by Charles Darwin. What troubled him was the notion of trusting one's mind. If we had just evolved from lower life forms, if our minds could be reduced down to blind, random, non-rational physical processes, then how could they be rational? Our minds are truly fascinating. We have mental faculties which outshine all other creatures. We seem to have cognitive abilities which surpass the requirements of evolution. Because evolution is about survival, not truth. And you can have false beliefs that lead to survival. This point has also been affirmed by Harvard University professor of psychology, Steven Pinker. He said, our brains were shaped for fitness, not for truth. If everything were simply a byproduct of blind, random, non-rational physical processes, then how in the world have we ended up with rational minds? To believe that rationality can come from non-rationality is equivalent of believing something could come from nothing. What is more perplexing is that we exist in a universe that can be rationalized. Our universe is governed by distinctive laws and one which is mathematically coherent. Many have been mesmerized by the rational nature and order of the universe. This is captured in the statement of Albert Einstein when he said, what is inconceivable about the universe is that it is at all conceivable. We live in a rational universe. The universe is like a lock and our minds the key. And we have the ability to unlock the secrets of the universe. However, locks and keys are not random. They're designed. So it's as if we are designed to discover. Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. The Quran, chapter 3, verse 190.